Hello guys, my name is Andy from Mooncake Visuals and in today's video, before moving forward with the library elements, let's take a look at this main, you know, light control page. So we, we're going to take a look at it to see how the video input output workflow works inside UEVS. Uh, we have two ways to output our main program, right, which is this PGM out. I quickly created a camera animation. I'm gonna we're gonna see that in details later. I just quickly created that to show you that. So we have two sections here. In the top section, we have NDI. NDI is pretty much a kind of protocol to share video over the network. So we can have uh, multiple streams that we can load in the UVS, but we can we can also output one stream. So if we want to output to NDI, we just need to set the source name that we want for our PGM. So for example, show one output. Keep in mind that this is not saved uh, on the template. So you need to set this every, each time you open and you want to start the NDI out. So I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to start my out. That's it. So now if I go to my studio monitor, right, you will see that now we have this stream, which is show one output. And you see we got our output here. So now this is how we output. Uh, this is how we output our show to NDI. So I'm gonna stop this. Cool. Other way to output in case you don't have NDI or you don't want to use it is like by you know screen capturing it. So what we need to do, we just set the UVS to window mode by hitting Alt Enter. And here we have the. We're gonna move our window to the desktop or to the you know to the to the monitor that we want to capture, right? And we have this button here in the PGM out, and we're gonna click on there, and it's gonna create a maximized version of the show. So now we can just go back to our window, and move it to another screen, and then we can capture that screen. So this is pretty much how we can capture our program output. So video input. Video input again, we have NDI. As you can see, we have six, six NDI slots, so we can open six NDI sources at the same time. Uh, in this case, let me try, for example, this test pattern, I have it. If I go to the test pattern here, you will see it. It changes in real time. So for example, if I were to open my show output in open source, now you see we have this, our output of the show here, and we have it there as well. So this is how you input video using NDI. But also here and down in this section, we have this. When we uh, when we hover on it, we see you see we have multiple buttons. So one of these is this cam small camera that will open a capture device or integrated webcam. Again, it's not compatible with all with all devices. So let me try. So as you can see. We get USB video, which is pretty much a capture card I have, but there's nothing in it, as you can see it. It's not signal, but also is my integrated camera from my laptop. You'll be able to see it. There you go. So I can close it. And now here we have this blue button, which is to load a video file. So from here, we're going to be able to load an MP4. So in this case, I'm just going to load a... Uh, this MP4 video, you can see now we have this video, we have this pause button, we have this play button. So we can open like uh, multiple, multiple videos. So, so then we can, we can, you know, spread those videos in our talent or in our virtual streams. And same for the, same for the NDA streams. As you can see here at the top, right? Uh, we have this uh, keyframe is being a lot, you know, it's been a bit, low because you know i'm recording screen i'm streaming in the eye and i'm doing many things and i'm just on my laptop so here in settings you can increase or decrease your frames per seconds so this speed i mean uh, the speed that you want to stream so it's 24 30 or 60. in this case i'm getting low performance because of that i'm just on my laptop and doing everything at the same time so i'm gonna close all my video feeds and that's it so so this is pretty much how you can uh you know get video inside uvs and how you can output video in a uvs so in the next video we're gonna move forward with the elements being the talent our next element so see you in the next video